headed up to Anthony Peak. I ran across this and thought, well, hey, while I'm here, let's check it out. Well, here's one of the campsites. Kind of cool, look. Established firing in a rock. This spot's got two tables. And look at this cooking station. Now inside there's a prime example of clean up after yourself and take everything on your way out. But that's kind of cool. So when I pulled up, it looked like, yep, there's some snow back in here. So it's the beginning of October, 2019. Oh, there's another spot. Hey, look at that. <clears throat> this one's a lot more private. Not much in the way of fire rings, though. You got the falling apart stone one and this fire ring over here. Not exactly much room to put your tent up. But hey, teach their own. Let's go over here. I wish I could capture that smell and convey it to you other than with words, but I don't even have words except dry or fresh. I don't know. I know that's pathetic. But check it out. It's the beginning of October and there's some snow here. Granted, it's not very much. I certainly wouldn't be eating that stuff, but hey, it's kind of cool to stay next to snow. I know the kids always enjoy having snow around. Well, it's a Sunday and there's no one here that I can tell. I wouldn't call this the prettiest campground out there, but it's not that bad. Um, now here's another one where it looks like, looks like they want you to back in right here, which has about enough room for a car or a truck, but not much else. Also, this one has the culvert style metal ring. Someone's been kind enough to place some logs along there to sit on. There's another, well, what was a fire cooking area uh, with the stone, but I guess this one you have to bring your own grill. Okay, I do see some snow in camp over there. So now I know if I come back, I'm gonna check the weather before I come up here because none of my vehicles are all that well equipped to crawl through the snow. It actually smells minty fresh in here. Oh, actually it's black ice. Black ice, somebody hung a little thing in there. Wow, well I can smell that over anything else, I'll take it. I don't know how many campsites are in here, but it looks like quite a few. There's a good distance between them, which is really nice. Uh, you don't have to be right on the next person. Um, I don't know what's going on with all these fallen trees that have been partially cut up, cut up, and not cut up, and piles of branches. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but oh hey, check this out. I think this is more what they intended. A little door, stuff your coals in. Nice little surface to cook your food on. A little chimney to bring the smoke out. This is pretty cool. Oh, a little damper too. I'm not far from Anthony Peak. I'm gonna head up there, but I'm kind of stuck here for a moment because there's no one around. Again, all I hear is little chipmunks squeaking in the background. Yeah. I mean, this campground has a lot going for it. The both times I've been here, there's been no one staying here. Um, I wouldn't call it the most. I wouldn't call it the most aesthetically pleasing place to stay. Um, but I've seen a lot worse. And I guess if you're looking for burr, wood,
to burn, which smokes a lot and it's not the best campfire wood. Now there's plenty of that around here. Yeah, I'm not sure how many spots are here. Uh, I've only driven halfway through. This is kind of cool. There's no great vistas, but I'm really close to Anthony Peak. So I'm gonna go check that out too on the way through. I'll eyeball the other sites and see what they look like. So let's keep going.